guys real quick how I cut tile uh, with this setup. So this is a miter saw, um, China Freight Tools, a couple of hundred bucks, um, a lot cheaper than my Hitachi up there. So, because this is a messy job, you don't want to do it with a nice saw. Supposedly a tile saw will do a better job at this, but this is what I've been doing. It's got a diamond blade on it. So first of all, you want to get a little bit of water going, kind of like so. Um, it's there to cool the blade down, but also to kind of keep the mess uh, down, keep the dust down. If you're doing a lot of this, I'd wear a mask. Okay, what I'm going to do is um, I make a scoring cut. All right, so here we go. Uh, scoring cut. for and then I'll rewind this up and then we do our two plunge cuts and do them quick because if you don't do them quick that's how you chip your edges So one trick that I discovered with a miter saw when you're cutting wood, um, it's really easy to just kind of push it along like this, and that's the way you cut wood. Um, that chips the tile, uh, so the way to do it um, without chipping the edges and getting this nice straight cut is by doing quick plunge cuts and not letting the blade stay there where it starts to chip off the fascia. So that's pretty much it. That's how I make the cuts. So instead of just throwing a few 2x6s under the tub like the previous owners, I decided to build a proper platform out of pressure treated lumber that would be able to support two people being in the shower at the same time. You know, because that's water efficient and stuff. I've heard a professional plumber complain before how contractors always mess up bathrooms. Every single tub out there is exactly 60 inches wide. Not 59 and 3 quarters, not 60 and a quarter. They're made by machines and they're exactly six zero inches wide. And what most contractors do is they'll space their studs 60 inches apart, not thinking about the fact that drywall has a thickness to it. Guess what they did in this bathroom? So the next step was to apply the grout. You go through the edges with a special diamond tool to clean them up from any thin set that may have squeezed in there. And then I use a putty knife to fill in the cracks as much as possible and squeeze the grout in there. Followed by a rubber float which does a really good job at squeezing the grout into the crack while cleaning up the surface of the tile. Then it's sponge, sponge, sponge. The edge that resulted from having to lift the tub needed to have something done with it, so I elected to use a glass tile typically used for backsplash. I've never used this stuff before, but here's how it went. I had some material left over and thought it would look cool over my new sink. The final part of this was to put on sealer 